Market performance is measured with market indices. Every index represents a different group of companies and is composed of different market sectors. Indices can be represented on a chart, and we observe the movement of the index by using Japanese candlestick charts. Every index in every sector has a different meaning. Some are more important, some less so, but all play a role. A market index does not serve only to show us what the market has done, but, above all else, to predict which way the market is trending. Because the market and sectors are responsible for 90% of price movement for the stocks we trade, it follows that if you know how to predict the market's index movement, you'll also be able to predict the price movement of the stocks in which you are planning to trade. The S&P 500 index displays the prices of the 500 most widely held U.S. companies and is, without a doubt, the most important index in the world. It is also the most important index for the intraday trader. Why? Because 60% of a stock's movement will be dictated by S&P 500 index movement alone. In other words, the stock you have bought will rise or fall after the S&P 500 has risen or fallen, and you will profit or lose chiefly by being dependent on market direction. Would you like proof? Observe the connection between the S&P and Apple's movement in this intraday chart. If you thought Apple had a life of its own, you were wrong. All intraday movement is determined at the outset by the S&P movement. The S&P moves first, and individual company shares follow. Is it easy to make money this way? The answer is no. Apple should move in the direction that the S&P is trending, but you can never know how much the S&P will move, how much later Apple will move in relation to the S&P, and when the S&P will reverse. Nonetheless, you can still take advantage of this information. The S&P 500 represents not only the market's direction, but also the moods of private investors and institutional traders. Institutional traders do not buy stocks when the S&P index drops. Instead, they wait patiently until the index downtrend causes the stock they are waiting for to drop, and they buy the stock as soon as the S&P index starts moving back up. When you buy a stock, you should look for support from the institutional traders. You want their mood to be as good as possible, and you want their money to enter the stock you have just purchased. Don't expect that to happen when the S&P index is dropping. In summary, before you take a trade, watch if the S&P 500 index direction supports your trade, and never fight the direction of the S&P index.